Hi and welcome to a very short video for linmob.net. It's really going to be short today and it's going to be my first video about Anbox. Now yesterday evening I played with Anbox a little more and because my uh, private life is makes it a little bit difficult to uh, produce some videos over the weekends um, I'm just going to make a quick one now and I'm going to upload it and I'm going to write a blog post uh, for it uh, this evening um, I'm in the UTC plus 2 time zone so um, this is an install of Mobian and I installed Anbox on it following a tutorial on the pine64.org forums um, you I will have it linked below this video so when you install f install it at first um, it doesn't come the image doesn't come with um, Aurora uh, the Droid and Aurora shop which uh, are front ends for F-Droid and the Google Play Store um, and it doesn't come with Fennec and jquarks and conversations but otherwise it's pretty much the same uh, I installed these uh, apps yesterday just to try it out it also doesn't come with open board by the way so out of the box um, you don't get working keyboard input currently um, I can't uh, really show that to you but as you can see uh, when you've got it working it's quite fast actually and pretty usable and now normally uh, this black area wouldn't pop up that's that uh, open keyboard um, open board keyboard I installed there and uh, normally you would have to use uh, the Fosch keyboard and while that uh, works uh, for numbers it unfortunately isn't mapped correctly I guess uh, for letters currently so y you have tough luck there and when you try to delete characters it will just enter the equals sign so that's a bit annoying and therefore I figured well maybe I can install and activate an open source Android software keyboard so uh, that I have a workaround for that and as you could see that works but you can't see the keys however if you're familiar enough um, with the keyboard layout you can use it you know you can say oh wrong um, I want to search for like uh, yeah it's tough but I mean you can can make it work like here Firefox and then um, Yenta key unfortunately is uh, below this bar so <laughs> you can't use it and um, but but it already searched for it so we could now go ahead and um, install Firefox CLA As you can see I got internet c an internet connection working unfortunately every time your Nbox container restarts right now and every time you reboot your phone you will have to enter several commands to get first of all the Nbox uh, thing back up running and then you will enter need to enter uh, like uh, three more commands to set up the routing uh, which is quite tedious now here um, because I used Android for a long time I know that the install uh, button I need to press is down there and because I can't really see it here as uh, somehow Anbox does the same it also does on uh, Postmarket OS and it takes the full height and doesn't respect those bars that uh, Fosh places there. I hope that there is a fix for that because that actually is uh, one of the most annoying problems we have here. So now I install that app and it should show up here in the Unbox Application Manager and 
we can just launch it. This is a browser. Um, by the way, I also use ZRAM um, or ZRAM, um, which is um, a way to get a compressed partition inside your RAM, which uh, then works as which works just like swap memory. So you can have a fast uh, swap memory here b without damaging your SD card. So I, as you can see, I'm trying to type my blocks URL here and I'm failing at it because likely I have no way to enter the dot. But I can just search it then. And yeah. Luckily, m many Android apps don't require you to hit that enter button, and now we should see a Google search. Um, that's taking too long, I think. But well, I installed that app, so you you know I I had uh, a working connection there for a while. Um, now, what I need you to uh, supply me with uh, right now is information on which apps you would need from Android. As you can see, the Aurora store, for example, crashes Anbox currently. So um, this uh, Play Store alternative doesn't really work. And now Anbox is restarting, but I would bet that we've lost the internet connection. I will just briefly check that in Android. So it's really early days, but at least uh, Anbox seems to run a lot faster on this current Mobian image than it does on my uh, stable uh, post-market OS image. Um, and it doesn't uh, come up again. Oh, it does. Um, of course, the issue is that these uh, two gigabytes of RAM that your Pine phone has are uh, a limitation. Um, Anbox was created for desktop machines, I think, mostly. And um, yeah. Oh, one more thing. Um, before you get overly enthusiastic, um, I know many of you will want to use banking apps. Now, that's a difficult problem because. First of all, you will need certain Google Play services that implement security measures um, in order to run those banking apps. But can you see this? The Android version is uh, 7.1.1 and the patch level is from early January 2017. So uh, I don't know if I would do stuff that really depends on security using this at the current moment, of course. Um, one could get a patched, uh, get a different um, Anbox, uh, Im Android image for Anbox uh, that has um, like the late latest patch level for Nougat because I don't think that Android 8 and later uh, yet are, are working already with, with Anbox. Um, but uh, yeah, so you can kind of sort of make some things work here. Um, but I think like, uh, well, if, if we would figure out that keyboard thing, for example, uh, it should be totally doable to uh, run uh, like Signal or Threema or another Android messaging app uh, that doesn't require the play services uh, except for notifications. So that should be something. Uh, but there's a lot to be done uh, with regards to system integration so that you don't have to enter a ton of commands every time you want to use this Anbox thing. And um, yeah, that's it for now. Uh, please uh, post your questions uh, in the comments. Please uh, hit me up on Twitter. I'm at Linbox Blog. Uh, if you are on the Fediverse, please uh, ask me there. Um, I'm at linmob at fosterdon.org. And check out my blog at linmob.net where a post regarding uh, this whole uh, stuff will appear later today.
European time. So, have a great day, have a great weekend, and see you soon.